In the name of God, hello everyone. In this video, I am going to teach you how we can balance chemical equations. Chemical equations balancing sometimes it seems to be difficult and to be tough, but it is not difficult, it is not tough. And introduction i am going to have a very very simple equation in chemistry is and it is reaction between h2 and o2 and the product is h2o we know each chemical equation has two sides left sides are reactants and right side is, is products in this equation, we have this number. This number is a, a, a symbol or number printed just below another word below the H2R subscripts. And we cannot change it for balancing chemical equation. To here, to here, to here, 1, 4, O, and V. Don't write it below the O all times for balancing chemical equations. We just add coefficient and the coefficient are natural number, sometimes fractional number, but we change it to natural number or integers number. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we can write another numbers. Coefficient, for example, for H2 here, if we put 2 in front of the H2, and coefficient 2 in front of H2O, this reaction is balanced. Before this, it, it wasn't balanced because number of hydrogen in reactant site was 2 and product site was 2 but oxygen in this site is 2 and in this site is 1 and oxygen is not balanced so all of the atoms must be equal in both sides reactant site and product site for this reason in this reaction we say this reaction, this chemical equation is not balanced. How we can balance it? I said we just add coefficient enough in front of the formula. Okay, in front of the formula H2, we put 2 and we put 2 here. And the reaction after this, I clear these numbers. So, in left side, 2 times 2 is 4 hydrogen. In this side, 2 times 2 is 4 hydrogen. So, hydrogen equal in both sides. And the oxygen in left side is 2. And in right side, the oxygen to, num to multiply 1 is 2. So, this chemical equation, this reaction equation is balanced. For the tough example, I am going to have some tough examples and we practice together and you learn the balancing chemical equations are, is very, very simple and is very, very easy. So let's go. In this reaction, calcium hydroxide is a base Phosphoric acid is a acid and calcium phosphate is a salt and water H2O is water. All times we know reaction between base and acids, the products are salt and water. How we can balance and what is the, our method? We go to have a technique and that is for the priority, priority, 
we act with priority. The first priority is for medal. Second priority is for non-medal. And the last priority is for hydrogen and oxygen. You have a question here. Hydrogen and oxygen are non-metal. Yes, but the priority is the last, is the last. First step is metal. Step two is non-metal. And step three is hydrogen and oxygen. We don't know the correct coefficient in front of CaOH two times H3PO4, Ca3PO4 two times, and H2O. But we recognize and we determine here the metal is calcium and non metal is phosphorus. Yes, yes, calcium. Calcium Ca is the first priority, is the first priority. After calcium, the second priority is for phosphorus, and the last priority is for hydrogen and oxygen. How we can balance it? You know, we have here four compounds. CaOH two times. How many atoms are there in this compound? One atom hydrogen, two at one atom calcium. Excuse me, one atom calcium, two atoms of hydrogen and two atoms of oxygen. So some of the atoms in this compound is five. In this compound. Three atoms of hydrogen plus one atom of phosphorus plus four atoms of oxygen. All sum and our answer is eight atoms are there in this compound. In this compound, three atoms of calcium, two atoms of phosphorus, two atoms. 2 times 4, 8 atoms of oxygen, okay? And some of the atoms in this compound is 13, yes. And in H2O, just we have 2 atoms of oxygen and 1 atom of, 2 atoms of hydrogen and 1 atom of oxygen, and some of them is 3. So, the Correct coefficient at first, we write in front of the, this compound because it has more of the atoms and the priority, priority for this, we put one in front of the Ca3PO4 two times. So, and after that, we go to balance the equation. How many calcium are there here? Three atoms of calcium. So we write three coefficient in front of CaOH two times. Okay. So we put here three. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. And so the first priority was for calcium. And second priority is for phosphorus. How many phosphors are there in this right? You know in this parenthesis, two times one, two phosphors are there here. So we put in front of the H3PO4 two. Okay. So then how many hydrogen are there in reactant sites? Two times, three times two. 6 hydrogen plus 2 times 3, 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. So we put in front of the H2O 6. Okay. We put 6 and the 
equation is balanced it is easy so for balancing each equation you must to begin with metal after the metal non-metal and after the non-metal the last are hydrogen and oxygen okay so we check the equation and we check is it balanced yes excuse me please wait reactant sites and i draw here a table product sites okay calcium phosphorus hydrogen and oxygen number of calcium here three calcium in left side right side three calcium so calcium is balanced phosphorus two times here two phosphorus reactant site and two phosphorus product site so phosphorus is balanced and the hydrogen three times two six plus two times three six six plus six is twelve hydrogen in reactant site and six times two twelve hydrogen in product site so hydrogen is balanced and oxygen three times two is six two times four is eight six plus eight equal 14 okay 14 atoms of oxygen in reactant site and in product size two times four is eight six times one plus six is 14 so the oxygen is balanced and the equation is balanced and the next example let's go the next example is about ethanol reaction with oxygen and the products are carbon dioxide and water how we can balance it in this equation we don't have metal we don't have metal just we have carbon and hydrogen and oxygen sometimes we balance hydrogen sometimes we balance oxygen so how many atoms of carbon we have in reactant site in reactant site we have just two carbon because the subscript for carbon is two so we put two in front of co2 and how many hydrogen we have here five plus one six hydrogen we put three in front of h2o so we go to balance oxygen atoms two times two is four three times one is three four plus three is equal seven and we have here one atom and we put three in front of o2 and the correct coefficient for balancing this equation are one in front of ethanol three in front of oxygen two in front of co2 and three in front of h2o so the and we started it with carbon is non non-metal after carbon we balance hydrogen and after that we balance oxygen so we go to have the last and the last equation the last equation is about propane <coughs> with oxygen with oxygen burns and the products are carbon dioxide and water so we like the before uh, example 
we begin with carbon after carbon we balance hydrogen after hydrogen we balance oxygen okay yes how many carbons are there in left side or reactant side three three is subscripts for carbon so in right side just we have one carbon so we put three in front of co2 okay how many hydrogen hydrogen atoms are there here eight atoms of hydrogen in left side or reactant side just we have two atoms of hydrogen in right side so we put here four four times two is eight okay carbon is balanced hydrogen is balanced for balancing of oxygen three times two is equal six plus four times one is four so somehow six plus four is equal ten ten atoms of oxygen we have in product side so we put five in front of o2 five times two is equal ten so this reaction this chemical equation is about burning of propane is balanced we check it i draw a table reactant site and product site carbon hydrogen and oxygen how many carbons three right side three left side hydrogen eight right side four times two is eight and how many oxygen five times two is ten and three times two is six plus four times one is four six plus four is ten so the oxygen is balanced okay all of the atoms are balanced in this equation and we learned how we can balance each equation in chemistry just what this simple technique first priority is for metal or metal and the second priority is for non-metal or non-metal and the last priority is for hydrogen and oxygen this video is going to be finished thank you for watching this video if it is useful for you and it was useful for you please subscribe my channel and give me a like and you can have your idea with the comments Thank you so much for watching this video.